it's just like books and brew. There's other surprises. Now, on a normal TV station, you would hear about the parades coming on what date, Mary Miller, with the DNC? November 17th at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m.? Right. Okay, that's the last fact we want to deal with, because I want to dig deep into how this thing works. Okay. First of all, how many years have we been doing the parade downtown? Um, this will be the 28th year. Wow. I know. Okay. Now, you weren't here 28 years ago. No, no. I know you have books and... and <laughs> right. What, what was the first parade like? 28 years ago. What was downtown then? Well, it was when they were reopening Granby Street. Um, it had been a pedestrian mall, and the, the first parade went down what was the former mall to reopen Granby Street to vehicular traffic. Okay, how many units? Um, you know, I, I'm, it was small, I'm wasn't not it? sure. Yes, yes. How many it units this year? This year there'll be about 70. Holy moly. Yes. Okay, and storefronts are filled with things called stores and restaurants. Right, right. Downtown is um, a much different place than it was 28 years ago. Um, you know, I mean, just the scale of downtown, all the construction that's happened in that time period. We have incredible restaurants on the street and the retail shops on the street, uh, MacArthur Center, light rail. Yeah. It's a lot. A lot, a lot of different. changes. Yes. So a lot of reasons for coming down early. Yes. And staying way past your bedtime. Right. Um, because there's things to do during the day. I mean, you can come down early on the 17th is the day that um, MacArthur Center opens MacArthur on Ice. And new this year, the Winter Carnival that they're doing adjacent to the ice rink. We're going to have different activities throughout the day. I mean, and you can visit places like the D-Art Center, walk through the Selden Arcade and see construction, go to Nauticus, go to the Glass Studio at the Chrysler Museum, really make a day of it and yeah. dine in one of our great restaurants. Wow. And there's all these alternatives get down here you can drive and park in a garage Correct. and if you come mm -hmm. early and if you come early um, between three and five you can park for a dollar um, early bird parking um, you can take light rail uh, you can take the ferry from Portsmouth so you can ride your bike yeah uh, there might even be a options. pedicab available perhaps okay. okay so with all of these changes downtown mm -hmm. It should be pretty easy just to kind of throw a parade together and have it go up Granby Street. I mean, how hard can it be? You close the street, you say, okay, guys, all show up at Harbor Park at 3 o'clock. They all show up, they get, get in line and move, right? Wrong. No. That's not how it works? <laughs> no. I mean, there's a lot behind the scenes that goes on, you know, goes into putting on a parade. I mean, it's an event that we work on um, annually, um, really start aggressively working on it in July. We start seeking um, participants, you know, units to be in the parade in August. And then there's just all the logistics. They use a lot of volunteers to carry yes. out these. Yes. How many? A couple? We use about what? 400 volunteers. What? Wait a minute. What? 400 volunteers to put on this event. What kinds of things are they doing? They're doing everything from helping people park. They're lining up parade units. They're manning bleachers. They man our street seat sections. Um, they put barricades into the street. I was going to ask you about those barricades because I got <laughs> roped into that one yes. year. Yes, yes, you did. You helped so they still better be putting up barricades. Yes, they are still putting up barricades, and it's hundreds of them. Um, some that you know, obviously, the city of Norfolk is an incredible partner, and they help bring a lot of resources to the table to help us put on the parade. Portsmouth is a partner. They loan us barricades as well and, and bike racks. Uh, Virginia Beach does. I mean, we, we pull together a lot of resources to make this it's happen. Huge. It is a huge event. Okay, yes. so between now and now at 7 o'clock is right. the, the lights turn on. So I'm Correct. assuming some of these volunteers that are in there, are they what? They're screwing in the light bulbs and yeah, turning yeah, the light yeah, switches sure. on? Is that how it no, works? No, no. Well, it's all magical. We do a countdown. Oh, that part is that just... That part is magical. But the building oh, come owners... come on. It's got to be more than that. <laughs> the building owners downtown, um, both in downtown Norfolk and Old Town Portsmouth, who participates in the illumination of the skyline, I mean, we can't give them enough thanks for what they do each and every year to illuminate that skyline, which is really a signature photo, and it's that yeah. signature postcard for downtown during the holidays. Mary, I just kind of did some math. Mm -hmm. You are, you're pretty much in, the parade is pretty much in its third, at least third generation. Isn't it? Yes. I mean, we talk to spectators along the parade route who, you know, who came and are bringing grandchildren back. Um, it, it truly is that family tradition. Um, so many people tell us it's the way that they're kicking off the holidays, that the parade is the start of their holiday season. Okay, so you start the holidays, you just kind of let it happen, and you kick your feet up, and you're done, right? No, no. We, no. Uh, no, we produce six weeks of holidays in the city. Well, that's so, right. I did say that yes, earlier. Yes, you did. <laughs> so it's that marketing umbrella for everything that's going on in downtown. 
both in Norfolk and in Portsmouth during that six weeks. Um, it can be everything from the stage companies of Christmas Carol to, you know, the Winter um, Wonderland exhibit that the city of Portsmouth does. Um, we do um, a free interactive train exhibit for a number of weeks starting after Thanksgiving. So it's a way to encompass everything that's going on during that six week period. Wow. I, we got one minute left, but we've mm -hmm. got to we've got to acknowledge the work of somebody very special yes. who's not on the sofa. Correct. And she has decided after a bunch of years to go spend time with family and go on cruises right. and all kinds of things yes. like that after the yes. parade, right? And yes. we are talking about Kathy Coleman, our president and CEO. A very special lady. Is she kind of relaxing and letting the parade happen? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Kathy is working right alongside all the rest of us. It's no one person can put on this parade. Um, it, is ser it is a team effort. I mean, it takes a lot of our staff time, and we don't have a big staff. I mean, we have a very small staff that does this. But it isn't without those volunteers and mm -hmm. the support that we get from, um, you know, from the city. We wouldn't be able to do this event. I mean, we know, we, we talk a lot about life celebrating. Daily, right. And it doesn't just happen. Correct. There's a lot of people behind the scenes, but more importantly, on that night, right, are going to be close to 70, 80, 100,000 yes. people. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it grows all... every year, and it just it, it just amazes us. Now they're they're there for one reason and one reason only, and that's to see a to very see... special person come in, right? Yes, to see Santa come in to town. So. Oh, I thought uh... you were going to say the mayor. No. <laughs> well, but the mayor Santa too. Comes in. <laughs> the yeah. mayor and city council um, participate, but but yes, yeah, Santa is a very big part, and as we say, the parade brings Santa to town for the holidays. Well, thank you very much for everything oh, that you've welcome. done and pass our regards on to all those volunteers. Will do. And even the Christmas elves that make the lights go on. Yes. Thanks, Thanks. a lot, Mary. You're welcome. When we come back, we're going to be talking about a very special organization that's special to a lot of you.